another video. Sorry it's been a while since I posted one of these. Uh, but today I got something I think you guys are really gonna like. We're gonna be working on the Beamer today. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put a new intercooler in here. It's an upgraded one. And we're also gonna be uh, flashing it to MHD stage two tune. So by the time we're all done, it should be pushing about 400 horsepower. And in order to do the tune, you're gonna need a cable. And then you're gonna need an Android phone. It has to be an Android, it can't be uh, an iPhone. So it doesn't have to be a phone, it can be any Android device that you can connect it to. And also, in order to put the intercooler in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the front bumper off. There's a little shroud in there, we're gonna take that out. And then we're gonna disconnect the charge pipes and hook this new intercooler back in, connect the charge pipes back in. And then we should be able to go ahead and get the flash going. So let's get to it. So after you take the front bumper off, what you're going to want to do is remove this little shield that holds it in. And what you can do is, right there is where it's connected to the car. So once you get in there, what you're going to want to do is just push it in and then it pops up. Okay, so after you have the bottom shield pulled down, what you're going to see is the connection for the charge pipe right there. And to loosen that, there's three little connections. One is right here at the bottom, one on this side, and one on this side. All you gotta do is just take a flathead, kind of like what I have here, and just pull it down until it comes out of there. There it goes. And then, as you can see, it kind of loosened from the side right there as well, on this side, and from the other side as well. So now we should be able to just pull it back and take it off, kind of like what I just did right there. Then this screw on this side and the same one on the other side and we should be able to pull this whole intercooler out. That's the old one right there, and here's the new intercooler. You can kind of see how much bigger it is compared to the old one. And also, what I didn't notice, I guess at some point, when the previous owner had it, it got hit right here. So there might even be a little goose leap that's going on in here, but the new one should fix that as well. Okay, so here's what the intercooler looks like fully installed. I did go ahead and get the charge pipes connected as well. So now all we gotta do is put all the pieces back together and we should be good to go. I'm gonna go for a little test drive to make sure there's no boost leak. Okay, so after you have the intercooler installed, what you're gonna wanna do next is connect the battery to a charger. Since I don't have one, what I'm doing is I'm basically using that car as a charger for mine. Because it takes about, the first time you do the flash, it takes about, I would say, about 30, 40 minutes or so. All right, once the MHD app is open, I'm going to flash MHD map. And we'll go into stage two. Mine's an automatic. And we're gonna go ahead and buy the license right now. So first we're gonna need the flasher module. And one tap buy. And 
that one's bought, so it's good to go. And then we'll go ahead and buy the stage two map pack. I'm gonna go here, flash, and it'll connect. Now it says connected. We'll go to stage two, automatic, and long right. So here we are, took about 40 minutes to do, but now we've su successfully uh, loaded on stage two onto the car. Now while we're in here, what I can do is I'm gonna go back in, go to stage two, blah, 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 let it connect. I'm gonna go to exhaust verbals, and here's some of the options we can check. I do want exhaust verbals, and what I'm gonna do is, let's see, I'm gonna write this. So this time it should only take about two minutes, so I'm not gonna have the battery plugged in. Alright guys, so here I am. I'm going to try to do a couple of pulls to show you guys how the car drives. So this is 0 to 60. This car is definitely more responsive. When the, when the boost builds up and it kicks in, it really pushes you back on your seat. Way different feeling than how it was before. So this was definitely a good a good choice to go with the uh, MHP tune. And to think that this all happened all from uh, from basically your cell phone. That's all you need. And obviously the verbals are amazing as well. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but let's see. They are definitely loud. Before you flash the car, uh, the tune, it kind of gives you an option whether you have a manual transmission or automatic, and it has an option for automatic with the, the fix for the gear reduction in gear three and six. I did go ahead and I went back and chose that option. That way, it kind of gives me the full power. It doesn't have torque limiting going on uh, like it does in the stock transmission. So that makes a big difference in here as well. And also the linear throttle. So now it feels a lot more uh, natural, it's not like how it used to be where uh, the car didn't feel as responsive. When you have linear throttle it feels, for some reason it just feels different. It kind of feels like a naturally aspirated car almost uh, in, in the way that I drive. So with that said, I'm going to let you guys go. Make sure to like, subscribe, and if you have any questions make sure to comment down below. I'll be happy to help you. And I'll have a link to all of the parts that I used uh, as far as for the tune and stuff uh, in the description down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.